a quick update on our line of Is Potato merchandise. Remember, all Late Show proceeds of Is Potato go to World Central Kitchen, who are feeding the displaced people of Ukraine. And so far, thanks to you wonderful people, we've raised $366,000 for the people of Ukraine in their time of crisis. But I just want to take a second here. I want to take a moment to single out one viewer who didn't even buy any merch, and that's Tony Horton, the founder of P90X, seen here upsetting me by being six years older than I am and looking like that. <laughs> Tony saw our campaign and donated $100,000 to World Central Kitchen <laughs> on behalf on behalf of the Is Potato Fund. So, Jimmy, add it to the total. $466,000. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. There's no way I could have done that math myself. And thank you, Tony. I'm not sure we've ever met. Uh, Tony has no connections to the show. He didn't ask for any acknowledgement. He just did it. And that is so generous, it made me want to become a client of P90X. Then I found out it's exercise. So instead, <laughs> I'm going to send you this $100,000 T-shirt right here. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. What am I saying? Tony Horton would never wear this. <laughs> Got the work out in anyways. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> there you go, Tony. Wear it with pride. This picture of a potato is the closest you've been to a carb in 30 years. <laughs> if you want to be like Tony and help feed the people of Ukraine, scan the QR code boop, right there. Folks, you know, I spend most of my time right over there in the news workshop tempering and hand-shaping the day's finest 0.7-millimeter story brass into a topical acoustic body, then outfitting it with silver-plated keys without the high F-sharp to produce for you the exquisitely warm-timbered yet balanced Selmer Mark VI alto saxophone that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes while fighting raccoons over a bottle of Fireball in a trailer park, I rip the side panel off an abandoned RV and roll it into a tube, then jam a U used matchbook in the end as a read so I can honk through the greasy hobo phone of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... That kills me. This kills me. Meanwhile... <laughs> Papa John's, the reason Italy won't respond to our texts... Apparently, the pizza chain is expanding and plans to open 650 new restaurants in India by 2033. That's an interesting marketing challenge. Hey, India, bet you're sick of the delicious tikka masala and sag paneer. What if I told you you could have soggy bread with plastic meat coins? Mm-mm. <laughs> That's legally food. Meanwhile, in a new study, scientists have found that human memory may be unreliable after just a few seconds. That headline again... Meanwhile, <laughs> to aid in recovery, fancy medical people have developed a smart knee that transmits data, resulting in a knee replacement that talks to your doctor and predicts those same sensors will be added to artificial hips, shoulders, and spinal implants. And I'm sure nothing could ever go wrong with a bunch of Bluetooth-enabled body parts. <laughs> honey! Honey, what's the login for my spine? <laughs> my elbow got out of the Wi-Fi and paired my ass with the printer. <clears throat> Oh. Oh, paper jam. Paper jam. <laughs> Meanwhile, the latest fad among gourmets is blending vodka into your butter to create the inventively named vodka butter. <laughs> Chefs say vodka butter pairs well with seafood, but you have to be careful not to add too much vodka to the butter 
Otherwise, you'll end up with, I can't believe you're my best friend, Rick. I love you. <laughs> I'm going to text Brenda. <laughs> mean. While regular viewers will recall, I previously broke the story that an Arizona Dairy Queen was on the hunt for their missing 15-foot red spoon statue. <laughs> well, hear ye, hear ye, Dairy Queens, kings, and peasants. It is with a joyful heart that I proclaim unto ye, the giant spoon hath been found. <laughs> Great work. Great work, Arizona Police Department. Must have been like searching for a 15-foot spoon in a haystack. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. The spoon was found just two miles from where it was stolen and laying in a baseball field. <laughs> Why was it there? <laughs> Why was it there? Maybe it was trying to reunite with its forbidden lover, that tiny hat of ice cream. <laughs> now, you may be wondering, hey, Steve, how did Hawkeye detectives find a bright red 15-foot spoon? <laughs> lying in an empty baseball field. Well, Alan, it turns out it was largely thanks to Pokemon Go. <laughs> Michael Foster, 52, was playing the game when he spotted the spoon around 7 a.m., at which point he sent a picture to his wife. Hold on, something's fishy here. You mean to tell me a 52-year-old man was playing Pokemon Go in a baseball field at 7 a.m. and still has a wife? <laughs> We'll be right back with Steve.